the light. Alright, so. Alright. Make sure we got. Alright, so we're gonna we we're gonna move that pivot point for the for this light here. So you see it moving like that. And I want it right there. Let's see. Alright, better. So when we turn it, it's going to be turning from where the wrist would be technically. So, like so. Alright, and we got everything in our body layer and let's get it down small where it needs to be all right and in the scene you're not going to see his feet so that won't matter like so Duplicate that because I'm going to put it on top. So there, like so. And let's get it a little bit darker. Yes, 90 may be too dark, but no, that's fine. So there we go. And again, uh, when we went over it before, if you want to get it, uh, let's do another duplication. Uh, duplicate again. And this is in regards to the side of the face part, right? So if you want to make it a smaller. If you want to do it like where you just kind of the top of his face, it's more right here on this side. And when he walks, you can manipulate that as well, but in a cave it would be dark, so it's not going to really matter. And maybe a, a different tutorial will go over the uh, the eyeball thing when you want to use it for with with the light. So now let's get the bones, and we'll make everything a little bit brighter here. So the body layer is here, and we're going to convert to a bone layer, like so. And now we're going to put the bones in. There's not going to be many, because we're only doing just his arm is going to be moving. So select bone, which is here, and. How do I? Let me see. Do I want to do the? All right. So we're gonna uh, create our first bone. Let's put it at the pelvis, right about there. And again, you don't have to do anything super crazy here. So that's one. Let's get this a little bit so I want you to be able to see everything. Strange. 
Okay. I'll worry about that later. That's weird. I didn't change anything when I uh, forested. So I'll do it here. Alright, so this is our first bone here. Go back to the that bone layer right here. So this is the first bone. Make another one. Like so. And it'll just go here to where the underarm would be. Alright. Let's move this light out of the way. And we'll make another one right where this would be here and again um, we're not going to put a mask on this uh, for the elbow we're just going to run down just a simple animation part here uh, then we have another one another bone goes right to where the sleeve would be like so and then the light Now, um, whenever we have this light here, if you look at the bone, so we got one in the underarm, one in the arm, one here, right? And then we'll have one more. there so kind of small but right about there let's move this light over slight bit like so and then we we're, we're, we're this bone reflective of the wrist or the wrist of the hand where the hand will be all right so body bone body to underarm and the arm and then the arm with the sleeve and then the wrist forward of the light will be all right so now let's go ahead and pair these up with the right bone all right so let's do the body one first like so so we'll be selecting this bone oh, messed up so this is how you select so select bone is here click on the bone and then we'll go to the body oh i, I almost made a big mistake <laughs> do that sometimes. Alright, we're going to be not just doing one bone, we're going to do two bones for the body. Alright, so these two. And then we're going to go over to the body. And we are going to go to bone here. And then we are going to use selected bones for flex binding and that just means that these two selected bone all right so we highlight the body these are already highlighted and then we're just going to click on use these bones those are the ones we want to use for the body so click so and now these bones are part of the body here. Now let's go to the next one. Uh, make sure you get it back to normal where you're not selecting anything. So just pick a spot and just click on it. So 
So the next one we're going to be doing is going to be the arm. Right? So we're going to select this bone here. And then we're going to go over to the arm, highlight it here. And we'll do the same thing we did before. Go to the bone. Use selected bone for flex binding. We'll click on that. And now that's associated with this arm here. All right. Now let's go to our next bone, which is here. So we're going to click on that. And this is the sleeve, remember. And we'll click on highlight sleeve. And this bone selected just like we did the other two. Sleeve. Select just this bone here. Go to bone. You select bone for flex binding. We'll click on that. And that's paired up with this sleeve. And our last little bone here, which is there. And that is going to be for the light. And you have to imagine this bone is going to be flexing based off of the wrist, right? So if you are holding a lantern up, the wrist is where the momentum or the movement will be when you're making the adjustments. And this is just, there's other ways to do it, but we're just going to do this because it's a lot faster here, All right? So we've selected this little bone here. Select the light. Go back to bone again like we did before. And the red bone selected. We're going to select for bone. It's highlighted here. And that's it. Our, every part of our body now is associated. with a bone all right so let's go ahead and see how it looks here we'll just play around real quick starting points let's go ahead I don't know four seconds there we go now we are going to animate our first movement here so you'll highlight body and the bone because that all the bones are in this body layer one two three four we now have them all uh, isolated with the selected bones and they are ready to be manipulated so we'll just go ahead and let's go ahead and check out the lanterns you know what let's do the arm just this arm here we're gonna Click on this second where it says transform bones. And we're going to click here. Right? So now we can do uh, movement. Alright? So. Alright? This is his shoulder. Alright? And this is the arm, right? This is the other arm, like so. And then that little, all right? See how we, yeah, if his arm does that, that's not gonna be normal. But we, again, we just wanted to manipulate to where that'll be like so. Right. And then so that would be kind of like the way you would hold the lantern that way, right? Okay. 
Alright, let's go ahead and get the body back to full 100. Okay. Oh, there we go. Looks better. Alright, let's get this out of the way here. I don't like to see bones when the anime is going, kind of throws me out of everything. Alright, so let's bring in our gray fog now. And we made him a giant just for the scene because we're just manipulating the, uh, the gray stuff here. our glow for the light and you can do glow inside of Moho but I don't like the one that I don't like the way it looks change that in Moho. So we'll export this. F. Nope. A little bit smaller there, pal. And less than that. Too long. Smaller. Export. Yes. There we go. Now we're going to actually add the import that gray part. Let's get this back where it used to be. I think that was the other one, wasn't it? Yeah. couple things you could do you can have it on the outside of the body or you can have it with the body um, I'm gonna put it with the body because when the lantern moves you want that to follow it apply and like so and add a, another thing here Vector. And we'll just create a circle because it looks crazy the way it's. So, a circle there. Make 
short. I don't need the stroke at all. And we're going to put this on top. Like so. If you want, uh, in this case, I didn't even remove it. But um, you can take whatever you want in there and just remove it. It's just up to you. Whatever you want to do there. Okay. And I wouldn't be using this. The lantern I actually use in the, a scene is going to be fire. So, uh, well, an act, not fire, but an actual fire. So, on mine, you won't be you won't be seeing that other thing here. Okay, let's get this back. Yeah, it looks a little better. Well, again, does it just for a short tutorial here? All right, so um, two things. We have the globe, right? And then we have the bolt. Technically supported by everything. I would usually say this light here create another group for that by itself. Alright. And then we put the glow in there. Put the bulb in there. Alright. So this is the light. One, two, three. Alright, so this would be light layer group. Now, watch what you see what's moving, what's not, right? The bulb is not moving with the everything else at all, but the glow is. See that? Now, this happens when wherever the object is, which is the bulb here, right? This is the transform point, and this is usually associated here. So, set origin. Which you set it in the middle, right? So now the set origin is in the middle. Let's see what happens now. A little bit better, but it's not following anything that we wanted to do. So, you can either have a different bone for that and have them both there, uh, but for this one, it doesn't matter because we already did what we wanted to do. Um, so, again, remember whenever you are moving this light down, so if we were to move it down his face should be a little bit should get darker right you have the ability to do that whenever you want all right let me go back here I'm gonna put a point for our gray fog all right so do that again and point just means that um, there's a bracket in between, which gives you the ability to just move it in between. All right, so that's here, right? So if we want it to be special and then, you know, super extra, right? If he's in the forest and he moves this light down like so, 
from here to here you would manipulate this all right so this is the starting point for the shadow now if we want to change that when this light goes down like this this can go over like this like so all right so let's see what happens in that with that all right not perfect but again you can change it any way you like but now we can see that hey he moves it down and his face is not as lit all right so if this is a close-up scene you're doing you can manipulate all kinds of things to help you out in whatever theme you're trying to get across right so and that's see the gray fog should stop I'm gonna delete this one here because I don't want it to move like it's moving whenever the lantern stops the dark should stop as well right so stop all right so we erase that point because it was still moving but now we should have it like we want it all right I'm not gonna do a run through but because this is just a basic movement um, but that's pretty much what you can do if you're in what some people call rush mode and you're trying to do all kinds of effects where you have timing and everything like that um, you can create those and just import them right which will be helpful all right that's it um uh if you have any questions you can send them to the email um and, and i will answer those or if you need to break these down more uh you can just you know let me know all right thank you for watching the video have a great day or night